have any question to ask me as regards the last exam you wrote, the CBT you wrote. If there's any questions, after us is a CBT exam, you've seen the answer. Is there anything that uh, after after your math have seen the answer, you think uh, you need clarification? You don't just understand something. Yeah, please let me know. In the next uh, two minutes, I want to entertain that. Yes, Adam, you have the floor. So there are some there were there are two questions that asked that you asked us that you asked us for the dates of um, the date of that. Oh, your network yeah. is blocked. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I can't hear you. Can please continue. So chat, sir. All right, all right, no problem, no problem. You may not, you may chat me through WhatsApp too. It's allowed. So if you think that now, Olajim, okay. Any any question from you? No. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. Anyone? No, sir. Okay. That's good. All right. We'll be going to today's topic straight away, and today we'll be looking at a new topic entirely. And today's topic is tied to cartism. Spread ye. Eh, You are interested in the topic, topic, right? Yes, sir. Eh, I know. In my in my years of experience in this week, students are almost as in always interested in the top courtesy. That is good. But um, before I go straight away to some things, the topic is titled courtesy. And uh, mm -hmm. I want you to understand some conceptual analysis here. And that is on the ground that we are looking at this topic holistically not for you to know how to join a court, but for you to know the consequential effects of joining this group. At the same time, for you to know the tricks that can be used to just get you entangled into the group. That is the major purpose. Once you know the tricks, you will know how to avoid such. And once you know the consequential effects, you also know how to run away from such group if you are, if you find yourself in an environment where you are allowed to join the group. Okay, so please, that is the major purpose of this topic. It is not for us to learn how to be a courtist, or it is not the fancy aspect of it for us to know that, oh, yes, I want to be a court, a courtist. I mean, okay, no. Just no. So there are some things that happen around you, you don't know. And that is why the federal government of Nigeria has deemed it fit to put this topic as one of the topics under the margin issued in Nigeria for you to understand, for you to be aware, for you to know how to tame yourself, for you to know how to protect yourself in these certain things that can one way or the other dent your future. And for today's topic, we'll be looking at the definition of courts and courtesan. Then we'll look at brief historical background brief historical background of operation of courts in Nigeria and some of the examples of this uh, court uh, group. Uh, before I forge ahead, I want to add this question. And the question is in this way. If you are doing something with certain group of people, and 
member of the public or people around you that some people that are not supposed to know what you are doing. It's only those people that are around you that are expected to know what you are doing. And it's becoming an offense if such is made known to the member of public by any group that involves that kind of individual or group that gather themselves. What name will you call them? Or like the market? Or like the I'm with you. Oh. She having a. Okay. Let me listen to Saddam. Yeah. You had my question. Didn't you? I'm not sure. Yes, sir. Answer my question. Um, you can call them a, a band, bandits. Bandits. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can you tell me the definition of a of bandits? Okay, I'm coming. Let me unmute you. Yes. Bandits are group and um, bandits are a group of people which come together to rob or cause a new sense to the society. Okay. 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 Um I will see it a kind of uh, elaborated uh, uh a, a, a analysis of the question. As the question is, if there's anybody at home that have answer to the question, she raise his or her hand for me to recognize him or her. The question is that if, as we are here, for instance, as we are here now, whatever we are doing here, and it's not meant for outsider to know about it, it's just for the fear of all that are in this place. That thing we are doing here, and the group of four, those of us that gathered and we are in this place, what name do you think we are likely to be given by the society? Since whatever we are doing is meant for us and it's not meant for the consortium and the member of the public, what kind of nomenclature do you think that the member of the public will give to us? Yes, anybody at home? What is wrong? Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Timidere uh, sent a message and he said we will call that kind of group private group. Yes, he, he, he are used a kind of a classical, classical word. I love that private group in the sense that maybe that. That group is not meant for everybody. It's done. That is a classical meaning. But in a literary term, in a literary term, we we'll call that kind of group, we we'll call it a cult. Hmm? We we'll call it a cult. If you check your, I don't know, is anybody with dictionary there? Is anybody with dictionary there? If you have your dictionary, and hence, I don't want to get a dictionary. So you open your dictionary, because we need to understand so many things here. We don't need to rush ourselves, but we need the better understanding. Just go and check what court means. If you have seen it, let me know so that I'll move you to talk. When you see, I have, I just, I'm just trying to elaborate on what the injury said. Which the really said is a private class. That is a classical meaning, but in a literary meaning, we say it's a cut. So I want, let's Adam open his dictionary there and tell us 
what a cut is. Have you seen it? Yes, sir. All right, read for us. A way of life, an attitude, an idea that has become very popular. That is your own definition of a cut. A small group of. Uh -huh. Yes. I'm a listening. small group of people who have extreme religious beliefs. A, a small group of people who have extreme religious beliefs and who are not part of any established religion. Thank you. Thank you. You are now talking. Hmm? It's, if you look at courts, just as I said about some of us here, a court does not belong to uh, the entire society does not belong to that group. It will be a group of people. Just as I've said that, as we are here, if we are, if whatever we are doing here is meant for the member here and it's not meant for the consumption of other group, then we are a court. Just as uh, the, uh, the military said that it's a private group. Private group is saying that in a, in a literary manner is a court. Small of us, but mighty, to do some things that are deviant in nature in order to exploit the society. Okay. Now, uh, what is your name? As I saw your hand. Uh, is Zephula? I saw your hand, please. I have to forge your head now. So I just have to ask that question, stand for me to know if there are some of you that have some kind of conscious mind based on what we are going to do here. Okay. So, well, when we say the courts or courtesan, what do we mean? We're going to do the full analysis of the work now. When we say courtesan, now I have tried to bring your mind home from what you know to what you don't know. When we say courtesan, Hmm? What is a court? You have already known now, based on the question I asked. Okay, and what is courtesan? What is courtesan? Yes, anybody from home, you know, raise your hand. Okay. Exifula, Joseph. Joshua. Yes, sir. Sir. So, um causing um is a group of people. Um who do parties that what is against? calm down, calm down. What is courtism? Yeah. We have unraveled what court is based on the question I asked initially. I say what is courtism? Um, courtesan. Um, this is the um the guardian of people who um, share similar aims and activities that goes that go against the norms of, of society, sir. Okay, okay. You are telling me what a court is, not courtesan. Okay, you have just succeeded in telling me what a court is, not a uh, courtesan. Okay. Oh, who is here? Let me see. Let me listen to this message. Okay. Courtesan is the art of being in a group with a religious belief who have similar objective. Yes. Yes. Uh, I accepted that, but there's something, something still missing. Something still missing there. Okay, without wasting our time, without wasting our time, when we say courtesan, courtesan simply means out of practicing a court or out of belonging to a group, okay, whose activities are meant to be kept in secrets, of which it's only the members that are supposed to know. And in such a way that the group, just as I've said before, of which the uh, Saddam gave us the meaning, the group exploits the member and carry out a kind of uh, 
activity that is inimical. Activity that are inimical to the member of the society. When I say inimical, inimical means something that is dangerous. Now check your dictionary at home. I N I M I C E L. That is inimical. Okay. I N I M C E L. Okay. When you practice, it's, it's more or less like when you say leader, leader, eh? And leadership. Okay, a leader is a person that led a set or group of people. Why leadership is out of leading? The same thing apply here. When we say court, a court is an extreme group that explores the society of which the activities are only known. Mm -hmm. They have a set of stringent principles of which the activities are only known to the members. Okay. And one would not say courtism, it is out of practicing court or belonging to a group whose activities are done in secret and they greatly explore the member of the society. Okay. And if you look at the image in this uh, point, PowerPoint display, you will see that there's a gathering and we see some set of people in the group what are they doing? And if you look at it far away, you cannot see anybody behind them. Okay? You can only see them. And you, if you look at the, the environment, you find out that the environment is a bit dark. Meaning that the activities carried out in that place now is just meant for those people and only those people that are men to know what is going on. And if you also look at them, you'll find that they all put on the same attires. Nobody is putting on a strange attire in that place. That, test, that should signal to you when you are working in the society and you find some people that put on some selected clothes and they don't have a kind of general group that they belong to that is known to the member of the society, and you only see them in the same attire, or either in the same beret, the same clothes, in the same sign, you must be careful. You must be careful. Some of you belong to Goodbye College. Everybody knows that Goodbye College exists. And when you put on the uniform, we know that that belongs to Goodbye College. But these people, when they're put on their attire, you can't see exactly where they belong, except you belong to that group. The attire is simply for their members. It's only their member that recognize and know that this is what is being practiced here. In essence, if you have seen anything that has been done in a secret, of which is not meant for the member of the public to know. You should know that that has a devilish agenda. And that is why we said a court hmm, or court a devilish group that extremely exploits their members in many ways. When I say exploit their members in many ways, how? Do you know that when it comes to initiation of courtists, there are some things that you have to do or that the intending member must do. Some, they will have to order them to rape their mother. Yes, I'm talking about extremely exploiting the member now in many ways. They will be forced to, once you, can, once you are courageous enough to I rape your mother, yes, you can do all things. Then from there you get power, but commonsensically. What power do you need? And you will have to rape somebody, not even your mother. You should know that that power is useless. We'll get to some level as we discuss this course. There are some, they will have to take up something that they won't be able to take or swallow on as a normal human being in the process of initiation. And they will have to, because they need power. 
when we get to reason people join court, you will understand better in this perspective. So, but all this that they are thinking, they think that they will do, fine. They will do it in some cases, they will get the power, but the repercussion is somehow drastic. All these repercussions are drastic in nature. We'll get to know that under the consequences of courtism. Okay, what I have is what I have summarized. When you belong to an association where the activities is not known to the general public and whatever they do, they practice it in a seclusion environment. That association is a court. And the act of practicing that court is what we call courtism. I think that is understood. The next line of action here is to, for us to look at the historical background of courts in Nigeria. Yeah, historical background of operation of courts in Nigeria. Yes, in here, before I go into historical background, I want to draw your attention to something. And I want you to know, please, from the inception, courts, or the establishment of court was not meant to carry out evil. And it's not meant for bad people. Okay? It was not meant for bad people. Court was established basically to strive for good objectives. Yes. I re-emphasize it. The historical background of court system or court group in Nigeria was meant to strive for what is good. Okay, it was meant to strive for what is good then. And the journey all started in 1952, right there at University College of Ibadan. When some selected group of students, notable among them, our noble laureate, Professor Walesu Yinka, Professor Olumu Yua Awe, who is also a part, before he leads, I think he was a pastor. Okay, he was a pastor. And others, as you can see the name, they tag themselves the Magnificent Seven. And they come up with the purpose of establishing a group. And the of establishing that group was to give identity to the blacks in the University College of Ibadan. Don't forget that as a 1952, Nigeria was under colonial rule. And there were kind of discrimination. There was a discrimination between the blacks and the whites. And in order to agitate for the interests of the blacks, and give identity that we are equal, we have what you people have. The lack of Fuyinka, Awe, Nathaniel Yutola, Payo Soyeha, among others, they come together to establish the Pirate Confraternity, popularly known as Nationalization of the CDOF, NAS. Now, if you now look at the set of students that formed this group, they were brilliant students. Take notes. So you will now understand the incursions, how they will have bad eggs in forming courts, and how the nomenclature, how the objective of forming a court changed. Only brilliant students form the group, and only brilliant students 
can join the group on like what we have in the conventional contemporary society today, where only dollars join or form a group in order to intimidate lecturers or members of the public to get their goal achieved. As a then, only brilliant students join or form the court. And they form the court for the good interests of Nigerians or the black at large, not for selfish dark interests. That is that. And the logo, as you can see, that is the logo of Pari Confraternity, popularly known as the National Union of uh, Cedars. A crossbone with a score. Crossbone, see the crossbone with a score. And the motto stands against all conventions. The convention in this context has to do with every agreement that engages the interests of the black or the Nigerians who will go against us in order to bring home the need of Nigerians or the blacks in the University College of Ibadan. That's it. That. Then something happened. In the 90s, some misbehaved members of the court were expelled. Some misbehaved members of the court were expelled. And that group was led by Bolaji Karu. OK? I so said that group was led by Bolaji Karu. Now, why were they expelled? They were spared because of academic deficiency. Now I told you that the Pirate Confraternity was a group established as an organization of brilliant students. Of course, when you hear so you can't talk in today, you know that actually that group was actually meant for brilliant students. And look at the set of people that I mentioned now. They, most of them were professors. Hmm? They were individuals that impacted or that are still impacting because some of some are late, while some are still alive, still impacting the society positively. So some people who could not measure up academic wise and misbehave, go, go contra went contrary to the code of conduct of the association, they were expelled. And this group led by Bolaji Karo. They went to some of them at the University of Benin, formed a group called the Bukania. The Bukania, as you can see the logo. The Bukania actually copied virtually everything about the pirate confraternity. OK? Why? the Bukania was formed, the objective of court group change. At this point, court group starts to have bad intention. And in order to claim superiority over the Paris Confraternity. It was Christian National Association of Sea Lord. And just as I've said, everything about the Bukania copied largely from the Paris Confraternity, but the good objectives were not copied. And majority of the member, unlike the Paris Confraternity, were individuals, students with for academic performances. And they use the platform as a benchmark to usurp or extremely exploit the society to get undue attention. Take notes. The migration from the good to the bad. Not only Bukania was formed, others, hmm, other individuals, thrown into the scene. 
It's like when you see somebody establish a school and the person is making money. What do you have to do? You have to also want to establish a school too. Since they found out that other groups have been formed in line with these bad intents and they are making it. So since they are making it, okay, they are getting attention and they are their things, they are getting they, 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 they are getting necessary attention in the society, their money is being made and they are being recognized. Other individuals or poor students in Nigeria University, they form uh, set different set of groups. And between 1980 and 1990, different court groups with evil intentions, as as in have words, encompass the society. And not only in the university this time around. We now have court group. Even in the century we are now, we have court group in the in the uh, secondary school, even in primary school. Yeah, Saddam Lab, that is the truth. We have court group in secondary school, even in the primary school. And what were their aims? We will get to know that when we get to the reason people join court law for the reason for formation of courts. And aside the Paris confraternity and the Buccaneers, we have other, there are, there are many, we cannot mention the, the, the number of court groups in Nigeria. If I should ask you now, I know you have many. Okay, now I'm going to ask some of, the, some of your questions to, uh, to test your knowledge on some of these names. One of them is the Black Axe. As you can see on the logo, see the logo. A mine from the University of Benin, Middle States. And you can also see the other name of the black ass. You can see it, everything from the PowerPoint. Close to you have what we call the Supreme Air Confraternity. S E C. You can see the logo. Before I forget, let me quickly tell you. There are some of you, the polo you put on, they are products made from the logo of court groups. You don't know, but from today, I charge you, before you buy any polo, always endeavor you check the logo. They may not write the name there, but the logo will be that of the court group. And by, for your information, by the time you get to university, if you put on any clothes, any polo, customized with a court group, that court group, they will strip you naked and collect it from you. They find you. Yes, they will collect it from you. So you should be careful of the clothes you buy. Very important. Uh, I don't know the question you asked. You can ask your question. There is some time of asking question. I don't know if you understand what you mean by B O L O. Okay. Be careful of the clothes you buy. And you can see that the black, uh, the, the Supreme Air Confraternity was a byproduct of the Black Axe. Now, let me hear from you. What other course name do you even know? If you have any other course that you know, don't look at the one I have shown on this screen here. If you mention the one I have known on this screen, I will not recommend. Which other course do you know? Okay. Somebody say Red Devils. Yes, you are correct. That is a motor show. You are correct. We have Red Devils. For those of you that are my youth fan, you call yourself Red Devil. Red Devil is the name of a court. Hmm? It's the name of a court. Yes. Oh, okay. Where is uh, uh, Zipula? 
If you raise your hand, you don't have to forget about it. I will not recognize you. Okay. Dread, dread friends of friends. That is from Fossi. Okay. <laughs> Omoto says, is a blood devil. Okay. Uh, divine is a Bukania. I have mentioned Bukania. Bukania was a team for uh, the Pirate Compatan, who happened to be the first court group founded in Nigeria. Okay. Somebody say yellow bandits. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. David, is there any court like a year? Yes. There's a year. A year is what I call supreme a year compatibility. Hmm? Supreme a year compatibility. You can see from the, the, what I showed all that time. And you see here, what I say supreme air compatibility, that is a year. The logo is a what? Red. That's what they call a year. Hmm? Supreme a year compatibility. And the black as popularly called a year. Okay? The black as popularly called a year. You can see the logo. Okay. I'm not reading any message for now. So I think I've answered the, the military uh, question there. Okay. These are some of that groups you have. That's Supreme Vikings Compatibility. Supreme Viking Compatibility. As you can see the logo. They have two logos. Okay. You can see from what I have. They are, they, they are so-called advan uh, adventures or the Norsemen. As you can see on the other side. Okay. And you can see that they are product from the Buccaneers. Product of the Buccaneers. So then you see the logo. When you see SBC, some of you, there are some of the polo you put on, you see SBC. You don't know the meaning of SBC. You are a member of Supreme Vikings Confraternity. Hmm? So please ask questions. Then we we'll have the Black Berets, hmm? which is also known as uh, the Brotherhood of the Blood. The Black Beret. You can see where it was founded. Somewhere in Enugu uh, State University. Hmm? And you see the beret. Most when you see people putting on this kind of black beret, and you see them in group, be careful. And you too, if you want to use it, borrow yourself sense. Because if you use in their means, they will they will deal with you. And the black beret is also called to two, as you can see. Okay. Then we have the other one. Hmm? Called the second son of Satan. It's our other names. Time will not permit me to start sharing their logo with you, but you can find them out. We have the Night Cadets. It's our other groups. We have, have the Night Cadets. We have the Mba, Mba Brothers. We also have the Executioners. We have the Dreaded Friends of Friends. Just somebody, somebody has said. We have the Eagle Club. We have the Black Scorpions. You see their logo, you see Scorpion. They have clothes, they have whatever they put on. So some of you see your polo, you have Scorpion there. Be careful, I've said mine. And we have the Red Sea Horses. We also have the Black Cats. See their logo, see the cats there. We have the Red Devil, just as somebody said. We also have the Green Berets, among others, there are many. Okay, then I know you, some of you want to ask the question that, is it only the May Court? Or this is your messages you are sending. The same message that is related to what I'm doing, okay? You should also ask the question that, is it only the May Court that we have? No. From the 1990s, because the fact that the maid that be using the, their court to exploit the females, we have the margins of female courts in Nigeria. And today, there are no, in fact, there are many female courts. There are many. What do they do? They also use the same. As in they, they follow the same objective like their female counterparts. Why some use the platform to punish some men? 
especially those men that one way or the other they find that uh, they want to use them as a way of making money. They will rip, they will gang rape the men. They will watch, they will now video everything. They will not tell the man, if you don't show us, if you don't, if you don't give us amount of money to us, we sh we'll publish the video and we'll let we'll send it to your wife. We'll do this, we'll do that. Why some use the platform to spread diseases? So you have to be very careful. Okay, I have to be very careful. Okay, from these are some of these female courts we have in Nigeria. The black breeze are called black bra. Hmm? We have the Vikings, we have the daughter of Jezebel, we have the black queen, white angels, dirty virgins, pink lady, Amazon, lady of rose, sister of what? <laughs> Good daughters of what? Daughters of night, night of the Aristos. These are many other, there are many that are groups that are specifically formed for the female folks and what do they do? They, 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 they can grip people, they threaten lecturers, at times even as a man, you have to be very careful. That is why at times I do add this question that our law in the society is biased. I'm not, I, I, I don't support rape, but do you know that the female too also rape, rape male? But the law has been silent about that. That is not fair to the men. Yes, that is not fair to the men. I kick against rape. I don't support it. But what has the law done about female that rape male? Okay, maybe by the time I get to National Assembly, I'm going to spot on that uh, B to make sure that we have a kind of equal grant. Though it is common, it is common among the male folks. But we have all this, all this group you see here, they are deadly. As a man, if you come and call them, you are in trouble. If you fall into their group, uh, right, you are in trouble. So, as you see them, most of them, they have their logos too. Especially when you see the black bra, you know them. When you see the, the pink lady, they are color usually pink. So that is why you must be very careful what to put on as a lady, as a girl, as a student, so that they will not just innocently see that you are a member of their group, or they will just molest you in the public for what you don't know about. So that is that. That's why I'm going to stop for today. Then in our subsequent class, We'll be looking at the reason people join courts. Okay, we'll be looking at the reason people join courts. So, I want to entertain questions from one or two of you, if there's any. If you have question, raise your hand. Okay. Joshua, what is your question? Oh, Joshua, sir, I will not allow uh, you. Hello, uh, I will not allow you. You know my rule here. Thank you. That is the end of your question. Another question here. You don't people don't take me for granted. Told you, you are my class, you turn your video on. You don't turn your video on, you are a passive member of the class. Don't know what you are doing. You want to ask me a question? Well, some of you not ask me a question. What I told you, when you turn off your video, you were not there. Yes. Okay. In absence of question, uh, let me ask you some people question here. Rooney. Rooney. So, sure. what is the name of the first court group established in Nigeria? Hmm. National Association of Sea Dogs. Okay, National Association of Sea Dogs. What is the other name? Hmm. Um, okay, Saddam is raising his hand. Let me listen to Saddam. Yes, Saddam. 
pirate confraternity. Pirate confraternity. The pirate confraternity. Yeah, divine. My next question is to you. My next question comes to you. Oh, and the question says, and you mentioned three names of the magnificent seven that form the pirate confraternity. Okay, sir. Um, Wallace Inca. Yes. Um, it's I need to think. I need to think. <laughs> and I know one guy. One guy. One guy. One guy. One guy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me listen to who is there, Brian? Brian. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Right. Yes, you want to answer the question? Mr. Michael, no, I need a favor. Um, the... Please chat me. Chat me. I'm, I'm, we don't interrupt what I'm doing. Yes, uh, I'm not sure. So I have a question. I, it's, I ask you if you have a question, you do not ask me a question. It's my time, I'm asking a question. Why we should be orderly, please? If you have your question, that question will be asked in another class, not in this class again. I have thrown the floor open for question. You did not ask. And I'm asking question, you now have a question so that I will not ask you. Okay, let me listen to Saddam. Saddam, you want to answer my question? Saddam. So, um... Wale Shoinka. Yes. Um, Oli. Raf Opara. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Timidiri. My next question comes to you. My next question comes to you. Tell me one of the purpose of establishing a pirate's confraternity. One of the purposes of establishing the pirate confraternity. So, okay, to make blacks and whites equal, because during that time, we're still under colonial rule. Okay, to prevent discrimination against the, the black or the Nigerians in the University College of Ibadan. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, who is here again? I need to ask a question. Okay, I will put my further question to the next class. So, Please, in our next class, we'll be looking at the reason for the formations of the uh, courts. Okay, then from there, we're able to also analyze some things. Thank you very much. And if you see our further inquiry, you can always chat me up. Okay, I'm not sure if you have whatever you see you want to ask me, chat me up. I will respond. Thank you very much.